subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates. इतनी बेला मेरे साथ में उन्होंने सा विदेशी कलाकार जो बेलायत पटो उन्होंने सा र बिगत एक बरस देखी वहाँ पनी नेपाली संगीत में बड़ी रिचि रखने व्यक्ति में पारण भाई कुछ है बखर मात्रा वाले सॉंग्स नेपाल नामक यूट्यूब चैनल बाटा अपनो पहलो गीत सार्वजनिक गानों भाई कुछ है र विदेश में रहना था पनी गीत संगीत में रमाऊंगी र नेपाल में रहना था किरण गीत संगीत संगीत रमाऊंगी ये व्यक्ति उन ली ली आई लाइक टू वेलकम टू द सो नमस्ते संचे हुन हुन्चा एकदम ठीक से आज बोली कुछ क्या मार्बिस तो उन्होंने हाउ आर हाउ हैव हाउ आर द डेज गोइंग ऑन द डेज आर अमेजिंग Top. Okay. Top of the world. Uh -huh. It's literally the top of the world. So when you happen to come Nepal through the flight, did you see the mountains? How it was like going on the air when the airbus coming in Nepal? Yeah, I don't want to talk about the airplane because I'm scared of flying. <laughs> but like, uh, did you see Nepal with a lot of mountains and rivers? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. Most of the time, I have my eyes closed because I'm, I'm scared of flying. Uh, but okay. when I opened them for a second, it was amazing. Okay, so this is the first time you're here in Nepal. Yes, it's the first time. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. um, my friend was in a band years uh -huh. ago in England, uh -huh. and uh, their drummer was actually born in Kathmandu, uh -huh. and he used to tell me stories about Kathmandu. Uh -huh. um, so finally, after five years, I managed to come here on holiday. Okay. So, what is the best part about Nepal? What is the best part you like about Nepal? That is letting you stay more and more days here. Um, I just, I like the people. I like the people are my favorite because they uh, they've been so loving. I almost feel like I'm Nepalese now because uh -huh. they've made me feel like part of their family. Mm -hmm. Recently, you have launched one a very good song. And where you have been featured are can you just remember a few things regarding the recording and also video making how you plan happening to sing a song that's in english and both in nepali as well yeah i met um i met a waiter here and uh we got talking about music and he he said oh, i play i play some music you should come to one of our shows and you can get up and play some music and we become quickly became very good friends and we decided that it would be a good idea for me to write a song that was in Nepalese and English because mm. he was he had he was creating a business which was called culture uh -huh. it was about bringing Nepal mm -hmm. uh, in to collaboration with with all other countries uh -huh. so can you remember a few incidents regarding the music video shooting how was the suit of music video yeah, a few incidents, yeah. I didn't... Uh, it happened so quickly because my manager said one day, he said, I've, I've, I've got some people ready to do a video for you. And literally the next day we were shooting in Patan. Mm. Uh, so it was very, I was really, really nervous because obviously everybody looks at me because I'm different anyway. So mm -hmm. also having a film crew round with me mm -hmm. and everybody sort of staring at me while I was trying to... Uh -huh. The acting was, uh, it was very I was very nervous. So, a uh, lot of uh, media, a lot of uh, TV channels are also playing the song. It's getting on air on the television. So, how do you feel about when your song gets played on the television, on the radio? How happy are you feeling? Uh, what sort of, like, you know, plan are you really making in coming up days as well? Yeah, I see. It's, it's made me so much more excited to do another song that uh -huh. has English and Nepal uh -huh. in it. Um, so we're looking around actually at new places to do some shooting that will sort of expose the world to some of the amazing architecture mm -hmm. of Nepal. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically what sort of songs do you love to sing? Uh, rock songs I like to sing. Uh -huh. Okay, you love to sing rock songs. So. Uh, what is music for you? Um, it keeps me sane. It, it keeps me... Uh, it stops me from... Um, keeps me good. Okay, it makes you happy. Makes me happy, yes. Mm -hmm. So are you associated with any kind of bands or like are you being tied up with coming up projects as well? 
I'm in the I'm in the process of looking for Nepalese um, musicians. Uh, I have I need so I need a drummer and a guitarist and a bass player. So I've 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 made some since the video I've made lots of Nepalese friends on my Facebook. So I've now put the feelers out for for people to join my band. So I'm in the process of looking. Here. So what is the best part? Uh, about Nepali song, have you ever heard any kind of Nepali songs that you are, you love to sing? Have you have any kind of can you sing any kind of Nepali song? Um, yeah, I'm 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 recently listened to 1974 AD's okay. Nepali Hull. So can which you? Which goes something uh -huh. like. Uh -huh. lies, lies out my life. Uh -huh. Yo manta mero Nepali ho. Okay. I'm trying to learn it. So, how hard do you feel like Nepali language is easier? Like it takes time for you to just yeah, memorize. Yeah, takes time. It's, I only know one language, and that's uh -huh. English. Uh -huh. So this is my first, and it's not an easy one. So, so when did you start your musical career? At what kind of age? Very very small in your hometown. Let me go on a childhood days. How was your childhood days? Uh, my father um, let me listen to all his old records, uh -huh. so I got into 1950s and 60s rock music from England and America. But I, I, never, I didn't pick up the guitar until very late, mm -hmm. so I'm a late comer to music. Mm -hmm. That means uh, you, you started uh, learning music from the early years? No, no, I didn't. I, didn't, um, I started very late. Oh, you I picked up a guitar very late, late mm -hmm. on in life. So, are you planning for a few more good songs now? Yeah, I've just finished a new single. Uh huh. And is that in Nepali or? Yes, it's, in, it's in English and Nepalese, and uh, we're trying through the video. I'm trying to promote the women's national football team. Okay. And it should be filmed at the national stadium. Okay. To promote women's, the power of the woman. Okay, that means you're you're really uh, so in love with Nepal. Yes. And Nepali people. Yes. So what do you want to say in the end? Like any any kind of uh, thing you want to say to your audience, to your fans, who've loved your music, who've loved your songs. Um, I just like to say, like thank you for making a stranger feel so welcome in your country, and I think other countries could take could could take a big lesson from the way that you treat foreigners in your country and thank you so much